Done yet. I've got this. No trouble at all. Huh? Well, that was easy. trigger a huge explosion with blastastrous consequences! Dude, what? Now you tell us? When you say huge, do you mean... Yes. The last time that Kraken Cracker boomed, the destruction it wrought split the entire continent in two! Dude, it what? Be quiet! Huh? huh? Are you ready? Then tremble and quake. See the spell I've taken time to make. Now hold on to your hats. And take that! Huh? Huh? It seems my new magic is a great success. Dispel a Geddon. And its cancelling effects. <laughs> uh... What just happened? I might have known you pups would struggle so much to keep up. Once I learned that Tentacle Terror's life was getting close to ending, I devised a spell to contain the blast the creature's death was portending. I knew. Before it breathed its last, I'd have to unleash my new magic! My dispel again. It pacified this nightmare pelagic. So, your new magic... It wasn't meant for causing explosions? Oh, I tend to shun magic that has already been done. Uh, fair enough. Moving is for total losers. But I'll be able to stay in Besaid now, thanks to you feeble-minded assistant diffusers. <laughs> you know... She wears me out. Me too. Uh, tell me, just what is the meaning of all this? Uh, I guess everything worked out. Acho? Yeah, you know, that thing was set to blow whether we opened the door or not. It's true. She wasn't exactly nice about it, but it looks like Dr. Shantoto saved us all. And that's great news for you. The Sunken Temple will be safe for good now. Huh? Oh, I never realized. Who knew that human people were such benevolent organisms? Uh, I wouldn't say totally benevolent. Up until we stepped in, I'm pretty sure Dr. Shantoto was genuinely trying to kill her. Oh my, Rain, 
Lan, quite your kind owes you dearly. Uh, Lan? Uh, yeah? Chua! Make this strange sensation go away! Kiki, <laughs> you touch I need a word, Edgar. Well, what have we here? If it isn't the Venus of the sea. Belay that nonsense before I dry heave myself to death. <laughs> Forgive me. I was just so overcome by your beauty. Ah, uh, enough! Now tell me, what have you dredged up about that Cogna? Please, please. I find your courage intriguing, but I'd just as soon not have you stick out that beautiful neck of yours. That thing has damaged my ship and injured my crew. I would have seen to it myself if it hadn't fled inland. From what we've seen, it strikes at random by land, sea, and sky. And worse, it can adapt its shape to each locale. We have to hit it where we can, on solid ground and out on the water. But now that it's made an enemy of Figaro, I can assure you it won't get anywhere near your ship again. Please. Leave the creature's disposal to us. How heroic. That monstrosity should rightly die by my own hands. But do the deed if you're so willing. Yes. I only ask that if I return home safely, you reward me. I now that that's settled. I'll be on my way. And if that thing does best you, you have my word that you'll be properly avenged. We call this site the Eye of the Desert. It's where Figaro Castle originally stood. It's in places like this and Big Bridge that you might, if you're especially lucky, see mirages that no one else has. You mean like brand new ones? Right. They appear in no legend or book, not even in Tome Town's treasure trove of volumes. What's more, some have said that the Eye of the Desert could be connected to other worlds. What does it mean when worlds are connected? Something happens? Well, it means... <sighs> I knew it would just be a matter of time before it found its way back. Vivi, look out! <laughs> I hate being right! Whoa, dude! Legendary doesn't even begin to describe it! Not at all! I wonder what's going on in the world these things came from. I think we may have to look into that someday. I was hoping to let off a few sparks. Judgment! Bolt! <laughs> I've got 
got this. <laughs> To do Predictable. It. <laughs> well, that was a pretty good workout, huh? What? That was the most powerful mirage I've ever seen! And you're telling me more of them will turn up here? Who knows, kiddo. But if it'll win me points with the world's loveliest ladies, then I say go ahead and keep churning these nightmare adversaries out. Uh, I say please don't. Vivi, don't chicken out. You want to be single forever? <laughs> Whatever that mirage was, I don't think it came here just to attack without rhyme or reason. I wouldn't bother going out to sea except to do reconnaissance. Well, whoever it's testing the waters for, I'm ready to guard the world's treasures, by which I mean women. Want some tea? What now? Whose soul will you touch? So you came here to train and try to conquer your fears. That's great. How do I put this? The others are doing so much. I don't want to keep getting in their way all the time. Well, why don't I help you out, if that's all right? Huh? Oh no! Not when you are so busy, my lady. But you're doing something important that I want to be a part of. Please, let me help out. You and I are summoners. We should stick together. Oh, Lady Yuna. You're too kind. So, you say there's an adversary here that represents all of your fears? Mm. Not long ago, I started sensing a powerful fire entity here. Even the other mirages seem intent on keeping a healthy distance. You're right. I can feel its presence. Rydia, will you be okay? <sighs> yes. If I'm going to overcome my fears for good, I need to go up against the fiercest flames I can find. All right then. Here we go, Rydia. Is 
somebody there? I... I have come here to do battle with you. Rydia, wait! Something's not right. There's something wrong with her soul. Tell me, who are you supposed to be? You mean that you don't know? Every moron has heard of Ifrita, duh! Ifrita? Yep. You might say that I'm the girl who puts all the heat back in Ifrit. Tell me you didn't come all the way down here by accident. So you're an Ifrit. Well, good. You're just what I'm looking for. Fight me. Help me beat my fear of fire. One fight, that's all I ask. Oh, sister, please! You're afraid of fire? Oh, no way! Well, you're not gonna last too long against a scorcher like me. But why not? You have such a lovely soul, after all. Lucky for you, I would be delighted to take it off your hands. Lady Yuna, get ready! Hold up. What happened to the wimps I was gonna destroy? So it's you. You're the Afrit that escaped from the nebula. Wait, what's the deal here? Have you two been hunting me down? Hmm... <laughs> Your souls... I can't put my finger on it, but... Ooh, they're making my mouth water! <laughs> You're kidding. Are you saying you feed on people's souls? There's nothing better than a soul on the coals, releasing all its flavor as it flickers out! <laughs> That is the grossest thing I've ever heard. Hey, Rain, tell me we're gonna teach her a good lesson. Yeah, we have to do something about her, that's for sure. Give me a break. You don't think you can actually take me? Oh, that is way too good. Well, whatever. It's time to chow down. Take this! You'll make a wonderful addition to my mantle. Diamond dust! that dangerous loose no one in grimoire would have been safe but see we managed to stop her from hurting anyone and it's all because of you D don't be silly without your help lady yuna i would have <laughs> you really should have more confidence in yourself you fought so well now before we come across even more trouble shall we go <sighs> yes that seems wise Ah! Where did they all come from? Uh, Lydia? Uh, I guess overcoming your fear of fire will just have to be an ongoing project. Come on, last one to the exit is a rotten egg. 
What? Hey, wait! Lady Yuna, no fair! Hello. What now? Whose soul will you touch? Don't worry, Yuna. You'll be fine as long as I'm here. That Mirage, it's Bismarck, right? I can take him. Uh, thank you. But we're here to fight him together. You don't have to take him alone. You got it! So, is it me, or do we have something here? Like we're... soulmates, wouldn't you say? Ah, uh, uh, this is no time for silly jokes. We need to focus on the battle that lies before us. <laughs> okay, you're right. I'm sorry. I just want to help us relax. Loosen up for the big fight. Right. Let's roll out. From what Quistus was telling us, Bismarck should still be somewhere in this area. So, hey, if I remember right, don't they call Bismarck the Shining Demon? Seems kind of weird. Shining doesn't sound threatening. Like, between Shining Yuna and Shady Yuna, Shady Yuna sounds bad, but Shining Yuna sounds cool. Titus, let's save the analysis for later. Right now, we need a plan in case things go wrong. Say we fail to defeat Bismarck. Valifor and I will create a diversion so that you hey, can- Hey, hold up. What say, we maybe think some happier thoughts? There's nothing wrong with being prepared for the worst. But, I promise you, on my honor as a summoner, I will keep you safe. Come on now, Yuna. I'm glad you're looking out for me. I am. But, can't you at least let me pretend like I'm helping? See, there's this thing about guys. Huh? What thing about guys? Actually, I think I just as soon not know. A good summoner has to know people to help people. Right? Guys are like half the population. You don't want to be 50% summoner, do you? Well, that's fair. So if I understand you correctly, then learning about men is an education. That's right. I don't want to scare you with all our deep and complicated emotions. So, let me just give you the broader points. Number one, we like to flirt. Ah, uh, I knew that you weren't taking this seriously. <laughs> but you were taking it so seriously that I couldn't help it. <laughs> okay, I'll admit you did get me to relax. There, that's more like it. If you don't enjoy yourself, then what's the point of going on a quest? Oh, hey, check this out. You ever whistle? <sighs> That's wonderful. A sound that clear could cut through anything. <gasps> Wait, that's perfect. Huh? If we ever get separated, you can just whistle to signal for help. Okay? And then I'll come running. <sighs> you know, you seem real set on coming to somebody's rescue before this day is over. So, now you whistle. <sighs> okay. <sighs> That's okay. I won't need it. I never ask others for help. Why not? So you're a summoner. So what? 
There's no shame in asking for help when you need it. Titus, you've already been there for me once when it mattered the most. Then let me be there again. It's not like anyone's keeping score. <sighs> Why is it that you're so... Up, uh, we got company. Dude, it brought its own water? I suppose that's just how this mirage rolls. Make sure you have the doc's medicine at the ready, just in case we get sucked in, okay? Okie dokie. I was hoping to let off a few sparks. Judgment! Bolt! I was hoping to let off a few sparks. Judgment! Bolt! I was hoping to let off a few sparks. Judgment! Bolt!
I was hoping to let off a few sparks. Judgment! Bolt! Do that it. wasn't so bad. <sighs> Looks like we did it, right? Hello? Titus? Huh? Where did he go? <gasps> hey, Titus! Titus! No, no. He was right here. Wait, if I whistle for him, maybe he'll come back like nothing happened. I can't. I just can't do it. Titus. Uh, ow, 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 ow. That last shot there, I'll tell you, it really packed a punch. Yuna! You all right? Hey! <laughs> Silly. Of course I'm all right. Don't scare me like that. <laughs> Sorry about that. So, you want to head back? Uh, sure. Let's go. Hello. What now? Whose soul will you touch? There are 
There have just been new sightings of an extremely powerful mirage. I need for the two of you to take care of it. Tara is already stationed close by. Once she's freed up, I'll tell her to rendezvous with you and help out. Got it. But there won't be anything left to help with. One of us is gonna take that mirage down first. Wanna make it a race, Cloud? <laughs> Not interested. There's a village. Why don't we ask around about the Mirage? Maybe they've seen it. Hey, question for you. Have you seen an unusual Mirage in the area? Oh, you'd better believe that I've seen it. <sighs> I've never been so scared in my life. When it came here and attacked the village, I was just about ready to give up all hope. But that's strange. I don't see a whole lot of damage. Where did the Mirage go? You'll never believe it. The silver-haired swordsman came and drove it off. The way he wielded that long blade of his, it was a sight to behold. Did you say silver hair? Hey, tell me where he went. Cloud, we're here to look for a mirage, not a swordsman. Don't get sidetracked. I'm pretty sure that the mirage retreated to the mountains. The swordsman went the opposite way. Got it. Thanks a lot. Cloud? Sorry, but I'm going after that guy. Take care of the Mirage. What? Hey, you can't just leave. Cloud! Who is this swordsman? I've been waiting too long to pick up his trail. This time, I'll... Cloud! I didn't expect to find you here. Tara. Oh, yeah. Quistus mentioned that you were close by. Listen. Something else came up. You should go track down Lightning in case she needs your help. Something came up? You left Lightning to face that Mirage all by herself? What could possibly be so important? Look, there's this guy. I've been hunting him for a while. Now I'm finally right on his heels. I'm not gonna let this chance slip away. Hunting him? Cloud, you're scaring me. Why are you after this person? Did he do something to you? He took someone away from me. Forever. So when you find him, what are you going to do? Will killing him bring back the woman that you lost? <sighs> this isn't any way to honor her memory. To take your love for her and turn it into hate? Especially when it makes you abandon your friends! You have to decide. What's more important? Is it anger and revenge? All right then. One of us will stick by Lightning. I know what I care about. Her safety! I didn't... Yeah, thanks. This one's a real handful. I bumped into Cloud on my way over. But he said he was busy hunting someone. It's okay. Just forget about him. Hey! Look out! <laughs> Cloud! You came back! Weren't you out looking for that silver-haired swordsman? I remembered I had something more important to do. Tara, I'm sorry. I get it now. I almost sacrificed others I care about. Never again. No. I won't lose anyone else I cherish. I swear. Oh yeah? So can I take that as official confirmation that you cherish us now? Yeah. There's not a thing I don't cherish. Who's this silver-haired guy Cloud's after? From the sound of it, he passes in and out of this world without belonging to it. 
Maybe he's an anti-champion. An ant champion? No, he'd step on the ants and humans alike, just to see the world sink a little further into chaos. There are people like that out there? Maybe you'll bump into him one day in some deal. Oops, forget I said that. At any rate, he doesn't seem to be in this world now, so I wouldn't worry about him if I were you. Okay! <laughs> Predictable. I might have known. You two would try to butt in. It's good to have you back. Thank you. Don't think for a second that I've given up on my search. But... Now that I've got my priorities straight, I won't mess him up. <laughs> so, let's go. You can practice your cherishing on the way home. <laughs> <laughs> 